for the sign of Aries. Hello and welcome to my channel. I've already shuffled and we'll be going through the present time. We'll take a look at your person that you're dealing with, how they see you, how you see them, and then we'll talk about why it's happening. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. They can be switched. They see you could actually be you see them. So Aries, the overall energy that I'm picking up is that there's going to be some type of very supportive, loving, a healing type of energy coming towards you or this could be you or this could be this could be you or this could be um, um, the person that you're dealing with. Uh, very nurturing type. Like I said, it's the energy that's in this reading and let's take a look and see where this energy is coming from. So for the present time, we've got the Queen of Cups and it's paired with the Knight of Wands. Now this Queen of Cups, it indicates a woman who will be helpful to you. Now this Queen it reminds us to bring love, compassion to our work and that's even possible if we work in a factory with objects all day rather than people. So things are probably better in your working world when this card appears in your reading, more so than you're realizing. Now, Queen of Cups is paired with the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, it's showing a great time for travel. If you can manage to get away, you'll probably start to feel full of energy, ready to get things done, charged up, your self-confidence is increasing. And this should help reach towards any goals. Keep in mind the Knights, they're often message bearers. And the messages, they're likely to be positive. So, any project, projects that you have, they're likely to be more successful than you would have expected or predicted. So you're going to have a lot of reasons to feel pride, so it's important to savor it. So basically, present time, Queen of Cups, Knight of Wands. Like I said, there's some type of energy here. here. A very healing, supportive person. Very nurturing. And being that it's paired with the, the this Queen of Cups is paired with the Knight of Wands, it looks like somebody, someone will be reaching out to you. Somebody wants to talk. Um, this could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. They're very confident, fearless, or they're coming towards you that way. They're coming towards you that way, or this is just, just their character. Fearless, brave, confident. They got something to say. They want to talk. Um, and because it's with the Queen of Cups, they want maybe this person wants to nurture or heal this connection. So let's take a look at how they see you, the person you're dealing with. So they see you as the Empress, and they also see you as the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Empress does not play by the rules, she has her own way of doing things and her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now, keep in mind, this does not mean she'll always get her way, but she's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. It's about coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that this will always mean financially. Because there's many types of wealth and riches in life, and money is only one of them. And as the Empress, well, the Empress can encompass any or all of them. So your person, they see you as a deep love, 
there's a deep love, a deep attraction. Um, because as the Empress, it's a very potent time for love. And you can find men and women alike suddenly finding you far more attractive, both in terms for friendship and for romance. So a lot of a lot of deep attraction and a lot of love. That's how they see you. Now you see them. I'm sorry. They see you as this Ten of Pentacles. Also, Ten of Pentacles. It's about having a great deal to be thankful for. Relationships of all kinds, finance, health. Everything is going well. So you might want to consider how you got to such a happy situation and make the best of it. Be sure to share what you have, even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need, because we get back what we give out. So, they see you as someone that they could have a committed relationship with, because the Ten of Pentacles, if you're, well, put it this way, if you're currently committed to this card means that it will move to the next level. Living together, engagement, marriage, childbirth. So it's a peaceful, happy period. So they see you as someone that they could have a, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles, the, the top. So family life, um, living together, engagement. They see you as someone that they could marry. And that they also see you as someone that they're very attracted to. They find you beautiful, handsome, Aries. Now, let's take a look at how you see them. You see them like the Three, three of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Now, the Three of Cups is considered a card of reunions, but it's not always a romantic union. It could be the type of reunion, in the broadest sense, running back into someone or something that you've been away from from for a long time so it's considered a real happy reunion as you can see these three people they're jumping up in the air and then they're jumping up in the air and they're toasting their wine or champagne and they're so happy they don't care they're about to look there they know they're about to land into a lake but they don't care they're just so happy to come together and celebrate so it can mean celebration, also your own or someone that you care about, such as celebrating around a new baby, wedding, or some type of happy occasion, this Three of Cups. Now, this is one of the ways you see them. This is probably, this could be someone from your past that wants to return. Yeah, maybe you don't know about it yet, but I'm getting a past person reading here. That's what I'm picking up. And if you know that there's no one in the past, <laughs> everyone's gone or whatever, there's just a no one in the past, then it's, um, your person sees you as someone they like celebrating with and there's happy um, times that they like having with you. But there is the Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords is showing that there's a signal that you have to be careful where you put your trust. Yeah, because this man has all these swords stabbed in his back. And he's out in the cold, his face is down. It's snowing out there. I don't know if you can see the snowflakes. Yeah, something happened. So you have to be careful about where you put your trust. When it comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable it's a pretty clear answer of no so try to keep in mind whenever one door closes another door opens you're being guided to a situation that's better for you so you also see them as having some trust issues yeah hmm so we got someone from the past wanting to reunite, but hmm, maybe they feel like they can't make it happen. 
this gives me two storylines. Your person with this Ten of Swords here that's trying to come back towards you, they could feel defeated. Like it would be a failure to try to come towards you. Yeah, they don't think that uh, they can make it happen. Because the Ten of Swords is about ruin, failure, defeated. So, this person, you see them, you know they want to come towards you. They, Or maybe you don't know it yet, but there's somebody that wants to come back. But there, it looks like they got some issues here. They might, they think it's, um, it will be difficult to try. But they want to come back. Yeah, they want to, they want their happy, they want their happiness back. So, let's take a look at why it's happening. We got this Ace of Pentacles, one of my favorite cards. And the Two of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles, is, it's a beautiful card in the tarot. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a huge pinnacle. When you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that's cash, coins, money, finance. Now this one large pinnacle, it looks like it's sitting in the forest. Or maybe a park where there's a lot of trees it looks like it it may have it could have rained for probably maybe one or two days maybe a few days but it looks like everything is squeaky clean now all the dirt and all the dirt is off the leaves and everything is fresh and new again the pinnacle looks brand new and it looks like this little squirrel he came out from hiding from the rain he's finally come out and he's looking like, oh wow, we got a new day here. Yeah, this Ace of Pentacles is is likely to find you enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And this is a very positive new beginning. So, you're likely to start to feel optimistic, upbeat, and hopeful about your future. And things should be going well. So you could be starting something new very soon, and this could be in the area of work, or it could be personally. But either way, it's a really good thing, this Ace of Pentacles. If you're currently committed, it could rise to new and better heights real soon. Or you will reconnect. And this is one of the reasons why it's happening. There's a new beginning trying to happen here. Some type of beautiful new beginning, a new day, a brand new day, and it's with the Two of Wands. Now the Two of Wands, it's important for you to keep your balance in every way you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right and getting enough rest. The Two of Wands, it indicates a partnership with another person. This could be business or it could be personal. But it reminds us to stay mindful of the give and take that's required for successful relationships. If you're feeling out of balance, just know that things are about to get substantially better. So it's about keeping your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. So with Two of Wands, it's showing in the picture that Someone could have two paths to decide on towards a future with two options. He's got a wand on one hand and a wand and a, he's got a wand, one wand tied to his hand and then the other wand is tied to his feet. And he's focused more towards the wand tied to his foot looking at the bird in that direction. So, two paths, two options towards the future. And then it brings about a new beginning. Or, there's a new, just a new beginning waiting to happen, but let's recap this reading so that we can get the complete picture. Because it's kind of scattered, I know. I know. Let's see what we can come up with here. Let's see what's going on. 
So the, like I said, the Queen of Cups, some healing, nurturing, supportive type is here with the Queen of Cups. And then the Knight of Wands, somebody wants to reach out. Somebody is brave, fearless, confident. They're coming in. They got something to say. Yeah, they're coming in fast. They got something to say. Or it could be by message, text, phone call. Somebody wants to talk. And the person you're dealing with, they see you as beautiful. There's a deep attraction there. They see you as someone that they could have a family life with. Marriage, commitment. The ten. Ten of Pentacles is the tops. In the pinnacle. In the pinnacle. Top is the ten of the ten of pinnacles is the top of the pinnacles. It doesn't get any higher than the ten. So they see you as in a very great way. Beautiful. Now you see them as um this could be a past person that wants to come back. Like I said, maybe you don't know about it yet. Somebody, um, you're on somebody's mind, Aries, and you probably don't even know it. Or maybe you do. But they want to reunite with you. But it looks like they might have some thinking that, or some thoughts, that it might not, this might be a disaster. <laughs> yeah, this might be thinking it might be a disaster. It might be ruined. Or just, it's going to be hard to get this thing accomplished. But they want to, they want their happy, their happy days back with you. They want to celebrate life with you. That's how you see them. And why it's happening, a new day is trying to happen here. Brand new beginnings. Um, but somebody has, um, could have two options towards the future. So, I'm uh, picking up that um, this person that wants to come back. It looks like, um, see, the Knight of Wands, it was the type that, the Knight of Wands is the type that, can, it can be the type that's a player. I don't like to flag the Knight of Wands. As a, always as a player, but that's what it could be. Sometimes I like to leave that word out of the readings, but that's what it could be. But I'm picking up that this person, because they're paired with the Queen of Cups for the present time, uh, it looks like they're, re they're ready to turn in their player cards. Or they, they're reaching out to you to let you know that they, they're more... They're more of a, a nurturing, healing, supportive type. They're no longer a player. They're, they're ready to turn in their player cards for you, Aries. They want to talk to you. Yeah, they want to let you know that they're different now. Somebody from the past could be trying to reach out to you to let you know that they're different. They're more loving, nurturing, and healing. They don't, they don't need to have multiples anymore. And they're deeply attracted to you. And looks like they could want to commit. But they're, they're, it looks like they could be fearful. They're not trusting that they can make this happen with you, Aries. But they remember you were their happy, you were their happy days someone that they enjoy celebrating life with so there's a new beginning that's could be trying to happen here with this ace of pentacles but you Aries you may have two options towards the future this past person that's trying to come back or maybe you ha already have someone or someone else in mind but one is shining more bright than the other because he's looking in the direction towards the one with the bird. So you could have a, you, you Aries, you could have a someone else that you have in mind. Or maybe you're, maybe you're staring at this past person that wants to come back and thinking that 
you know, you're willing to give it a try. But you got two options. It looks like you're going to have more than one option, put it that way. Yeah, this person that's trying to come back, and then, like I said, maybe someone else. But there's, there's some type of new beginning that's trying to happen, a beautiful new beginning. The Ace of Pentacles is beautiful. It could be new beginnings on several levels. It could be with this person, this person trying to come back, or it could be with someone else, because you got two wands there. But just be on the lookout. Somebody could be from somebody from the ex, long lost love, could be trying to reach out to you. And like I said, if it's not, if you know it's some, if it's, if you know it's not someone from a past, like there's just no past person, then like I said, if this um, this could also be how um, you see the person you're dealing with as wanting to just celebrate life with you, and they could have some trust issues. But I'm picking up this is a past person reading. They want to let you know, they're going to reach out, they want to let you know that um, they've changed. They're more like the Queen of Cups. Yeah, they're ready to turn in their player cards for you. So Aries, that's what I have for you. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I'll also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those.